For a while there in the background of my videos, there was a small light box. I used to get tons and tons of comments on it. It was a speaker. I made a video about it a while back. I'll try to link that down below. That was the Devoom Aurabox light. Well, Devoom reached out to me. Unfortunately, I'm going to say it's been a little while back and they offered to send me the updated version of it and it's been kind of sitting on the shelf. So today we're going to take a look at the Devoom Time Box, as well as the updated version of their other speaker that I tested out, the Party Box. This is the Voom Box, the Devoom Voom Box. Voom Voom. So let's dive right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start things off by looking at the Voom box, because I figure it'll be more straightforward and it's actually packaged. The other one did not come packaged, so I'm guessing I got a pre-release version of it, and I'm okay with that. To the unboxing knife. Before I damage this too much, here's some of the speaker specifications there on the side. It has 15 watt output. There's a signal to noise ratio. It says it can play back for up to 12 hours and it charges in about three to four hours. A little exploded diagram as well, if that's something that you're into. And with this one, it says you get true 360 degree sound. This is a second generation product. It's weather resistant and it has, again, 15 watts and 12 hours. So this is the outdoor version. This is gonna be water resistant, weather resistant, cool stuff. Party box was definitely a very big, very loud speaker, so back to the unboxing knife. Lots more tape. Aha! <laughs> Some very interesting packaging. We'll just put it that way. But in the bottom section, three and a half millimeter audio cable and micro USB charging cable, as well as the user manual, all the things you're gonna need to know in a bunch of different languages. And then the speaker itself, very nice blue on the outside. And it mentions NFC right here. You've got some Voombox branding on this end. This is probably where everything's gonna plug in. Yeah, micro USB, three and a half millimeter right there. Nothing on the other end, nothing on the bottom except for some more branding, model number, five volt, one amp input, and then speaker grills on both sides for again, that 360 degree output. Without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and power this on, get it paired up to a phone, see how it sounds. Oh, and I do see a blue LED in here. And I tap the Bluetooth button and it's now flashing. And right there you see it, Boombox Outdoor. In terms of the other buttons, because I didn't mention them, you've got power, Bluetooth, play, pause, plus and minus, so volume up and down. I guess I could have just used NFC, but I, I didn't. So anyway, let's go ahead and play some music, see what it sounds like. Lots of sound. The good thing about this being 360 is we can both listen at the same time from each side. And it's the same sound on each side, so that's good. Good job. Pretty pleased with that. I was able to walk from one of the house to the other. No skips, no drops in playing or anything. Good stuff. Lots and lots of sound. I was able to hear it clearly from the other end of the house. And actually just checking over on Amazon right now, it looks like the Devoom Outdoor 2, which is what I think this is. It's got a, a regular retail price of $99, but right now the black one is $59.90. May not be by the time this video comes out, but possibly. So links to where you can find this down in the description. 12 hours of playback, NFC pairing. It is IP44. So this is not weather sealed. It's just weather resistant is what they say. So keep that in mind. And let us go ahead and move on to the other one. Really looking forward to this one. The Time Box comes in a couple of different colors over on Amazon and it's available for about $69 or $70. Retail price again is $100, so be aware it may change from time to time. But the big difference between this and the one that I looked at previously, I think is actually a couple of things. It has a built-in clock, it has a built-in FM radio. So technically the entire thing can just exist without having to have a phone tied to it, which is one of the limitations of the previous one. And actually it looks like there's a layer of plastic on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel that away. It says this has a five watt passive driver built into it and you can still control it via their app. So looking in the Play Store, it looks like they've got several apps, but Timebox is the one you'll be looking for. And taking a look at the speaker itself, like I said, this is all LEDs here on the front. On the top, you've got power, play, forward and back or left and right, 
plus and minus, and then a some sort of a switch button. I don't have a, a manual here for this one, so I'm not really sure. And then snooze or lighting on this big bar. So if you've got an alarm going off or something, snooze it. Nothing on the sides except a little bit of Davoom branding. Nothing on the bottom but some more model information and more branding. A couple of pads here to help add grippiness. And then on the back, that's where the speaker actually lives, as well as micro USB and three and a half millimeter with a little status LED and presumably a microphone, which I just never really test on these. Sorry about that. But go ahead and power it up. There's what you see by default and Bluetooth pairing. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app. It asks if I can access the location. Sure, why not? Media files and photos, man can manage calls, record audio, okay. Okay, so a little while later, I've gone ahead and paired my phone up to the Devoom time box. And just initial impression, the app actually looks kind of similar. You can see right now it says, welcome to clock. I have the option to set at 12 or 24 hour. If I hit a 24 hour, there we go, it changes that. You can also change the color by clicking here. You can make the clock whatever color you want it to be. Just go back to the default for now. Swipe over, we go to temperature. Right now it's set to Fahrenheit, I switched that. You can change it back to Celsius if you'd prefer. And again, you've got that option down here to change the color of this. Oh, and that would be my alarm going off apparently. Yeah, we'll come back to that in just a minute. But again, you can change the color of the temperature there. You can see from here, different relaxing light setups. So you can sort of make this whatever color you'd like it to be and whatever brightness you'd like it to be. Swipe on over, you get the light bright. It's doing a, a different color pattern. You can change that pattern up here at the top. Swipe on over, you get the dancing beats. You can change this one up at the top as well. So the app has definitely been changed and improved in a few ways. There's just loads and loads of settings and options here you can go through. Then you go to the pixel frame. So this one by default is an I heart you, but you've also got a plus. You can go through their gallery, see things like the one up and whenever it downloads that, there you go. You get the new pixel art. Different things like numbers and smiley faces and battery symbols. These are animated things. So let's go to color heart. You can see this one is animated. So just kind of neat little things you can do with it. But then coming over to this side, you can see a bunch of different options. So by default, you go to general. That's where we do all these settings we were just looking at. Then you can go to music. That'll allow you to actually play music using the app through the Bluetooth in here. You've got FM radio where you can actually switch it over to FM radio. It says insert an aux cable to enhance the signal. Okay. And if you hit power on it, it's going to put it into FM radio mode. And then you pick whatever station you want. Oh, and I told it to search for stations. And it's apparently searching the FM radio stations right now. And there you go. I did find a couple of stations. I can go ahead and just turn that off. Don't want to get into any trouble with copyright. Other settings, you go back to alarm. I set one of these earlier and you saw it came on. If I go ahead and set it again, I can just change it to, let's say, 1.19 p.m. We'll set it to thunderstorm and hit OK. And so now in one minute, it should go off again. So we'll come back to that. You've also got a sleep timer in here. So if you want, you can set up a scene, any of these things like meditation, relaxation, frogs, things to help you go to sleep. Very nice. Moving on down, you've got the gallery, which again, we looked at earlier, all the things you can do pixel art with. Design, you can of course make your own pixel art. Animation, you can again, make your own custom animations there to display on the LEDs. Notifications, you can tell it to show things from Android Auto, from Android Wear, oh, there's our thunderstorm alarm going off and we just hit the snooze button to have it go away. But yeah, there's a bunch of different types of notifications you can turn on. Probably a lot more than that. I just don't have a whole lot on this phone. Then down near the end here, we've got games, arcade fun zone. So there's just apparently different games that you can actually play on this. Oh, and you can, wow. So you can use the buttons on here to play like a driver type game. Although I did not have any luck with that. Oh, it says use the play and the minus buttons. So we'll try that here in a second. It's actually playing the background music too. Oh, there we go. So I just hit that, it took me over one. Not a super complex game, obviously, but if I just use these two buttons, I can move over. That's pretty cool. Not something I'm, I would probably use on a day-to-day -day basis, but still, it's a neat option to have. That was kind of fun. I got a six. Confirm, pixel racing is what that one's called. Arcade fun zone, this says no. Okay. Anyway, there's uh, apparently several different games you can play there and voice memo you can I would assume make voice memos to yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Looking into the cogwheel here, you've got shake shake to adjust the brightness. You can turn that on and then when you shake it, 
It should make it brighter or dimmer. Sound command, clap your hands to turn on or off the screen. Auto power off, you can have it set to turn itself off after a certain amount of time. You can change the startup logo to a different one from the gallery if you want. There's info about what it's connected to, the current equipment and whatnot. And I would assume most importantly, at least in terms of my opinion, the way it sounds, the speaker itself. So there's some music from it. Let's see if I can turn it up. All right, that's as loud as it goes. So it puts out some decent sound there. Decent bass as well. So yeah, all in all, just initial impression of the sound quality. It sounds good, it sounds clear. When it gets a little too loud, when you turn it up all the way and the music is just completely blaring, it can get a little bit muddy, but not too bad. Realistically, the biggest thing about this is just the novelty factor. It's got a bunch of different things that it can do. And of course, you can just keep it plugged in, put it on a nightstand and have an alarm clock, an FM radio, sort of an all-in-one, which is kind of a neat feature. I think in a lot of ways, this is significantly better than the Aura Box that I looked at previously. I think the sound quality is actually a little bit better as well. So I'll put links to both of the speakers that I took a look at down in the description if you'd like to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up down below if you like this video and subscribe to the channel to receive all the videos that I make as soon as they become available. And I'll see you again next time.